This is the first episode of two. Driving the most expensive SUV in the world. The Rolls Royce Cullinan for 700 kilometers in Dubai. I think I'm still dreaming because um, I never thought I'll be piloting a Rolls Royce and that too the latest one and the biggest, sorry, the most expensive SUV in the world. I keep on saying that because, uh, you know, there's always a dream that you have. My dream came true when I had the uh, H2 and I went around Australia on that for 20,000 kilometers. My dream came true, like my latest biggest dream. But there are few things which you don't even dream about because you think that they will, I mean, they're just not going to happen. So, of course, owning a Rolls Royce is one of those dreams. But as a journalist, as a motorcycle journalist, as a motorcycle travel journalist, as a motorcycle travel journalist from Delhi, as a motorcycle travel journalist from Delhi, <laughs> who started from a single web page on his first motorcycle 15 years ago this is a good way to say good movement to say that thank you god for this and uh, you know uh, you never know you know i mean anything can happen uh, i can all also probably buy a rolls royce and uh, for now, I'm more than satisfied, more than thankful. And all I have to do is enjoy each kilometer of those 700 odd kilometers that I'm going to do uh, on this in this car into the desert, onto the dunes, and in the Dubai city with all those big um, buildings, you know, it's just like fantastic surreal with a double R. I'm ready and uh, but there is slight problem you know if you see here I've got some nice red shoes Ferrari shoes most of the people would guess it right yeah now the thing is that the car which I'm going to go inside is actually um, if I was the owner of the car I would probably not want to go inside the car wearing Ferrari shoes the number one because the car which I'm going inside is probably uh, more expensive than the Ferrari or uh, if I am rich that I have a Enzo Ferrari or a La Ferrari or something like that, then I have a slight um, picturization in my mind how would that happen. That 
in the morning i'm going to play tennis uh, in a, in one of my tennis courts my friends have come over and from some poor country or something like that and then i take them around my palatial grounds you know where i live in my ferrari wearing the ferrari shoes and after we play tennis have breakfast besides the the pond that i one of the ponds that i have i decide to uh, quickly I, i get a meeting call from one of the presidents of another country who wants some loans so i say okay i'm just coming please wait over here and i forget to change my shoes uh, you know and i get into the car which i'm going to get into right now so that is how the story goes why would the owner go inside that car wearing ferrari shoes and this story shall be told for many generations to come right time to follow me and i don't want to reveal the key right now so you may switch off next time i want a lift which is bigger and uh, this too small for me shit new most expensive SUV in the world acquired <laughs> this is the car that i'm going to go and i'll be driving for 700 kilometers so i'm going to go inside a rolls royce wearing ferrari shoes right that's supposedly the first one in the history of extremely poor people right, i'm going to <laughs> sir would you go like oh, want to go here or here or like uh, you want to occupy the the picnic seats behind uh, should i open that never mind all this is a joke this is a key to our hotel room and this is the key to looking stinking rich no matter how poorly dressed you are here we go let's go inside sir may i close the door or you want an umbrella do you think no i don't want don't? it <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but i may use it it's too sunny out here please there's be there'll be sunny inside as well <laughs> how i close this door Have a look. You see this button over here? This button, I love buttons. And uh, if you press this button, oh man, there we go. It's done. And I have got, I have actually done a lot of research on the internet. If I had done this sort of research, not for the car, but um, for your studies, to study, I would have actually owned a Rolls Royce by now. But anyway, I'm not doing bad enough because this is also an official Rolls Royce given by the company. So um now the next step is this will be the first time I'll be actually switching it on so I have to first adjust my seat like this I'm sliding and then um the standard procedures where is the start button here mm here and uh this is how a Rolls Royce view looks like from the driver's point of view from the chauffeur point of view and the owner for a change is sitting here chauffeur <laughs> drive i will i will yes. sir i am just this is a new car so i'm just trying to um, get used yeah. to it um <clears throat> so this is the uh, transmission select i think this is already in a you know now it's in reverse okay yes. as you can see here uh this is in reverse i see. Let me apply some reverse psychology. <clears throat> Man, the steering is so smooth. I believe this this view uh, the monitor is little oversaturated right now. I mean, the exposure setting should be there. And so my the first time I'm going to drive this and I'm telling you this is long. This, look at that the, look at that i don't know where that is ending <laughs> but this is like okay now 6 mm of glass along with uh, an acoustic um what do you wow. call vacuum or something you know is protecting us from uh, unwanted sounds no so here we go around 600 horses going to take me to my hotel because i'm getting late uh, 
to for breakfast and this hotel i probably own it i don't even know i own so many hotels <laughs> you know <laughs> why is this car the same color of my car look at that please no i don't own this car on the road it's not exactly the same but yeah no, but it's going to be i don't want this car on the road or i want the color of this car lilan changed right now let's do we have an option to change do fire we, an rpg at least do we have an option <laughs> of uh, changing the color of the car if you want maybe not right now on the go but maybe in the future maybe that technology is coming up for changing the color of the car as you drive okay my first u turn in the kalinan or for that or a roundabout in a in a rolls royce yes in any of the rolls royce <laughs> in any of the rolls royces and my first right i've been taking all left till now i just realized yeah, i think the spirit of ecstasy is there and in here i'm so ecstatic right now uh <clears throat> you have to use your card yeah. to go in and then you have to please guide me Yes, Mr. Fit. Be the be the oh. last car. No, I I cannot get out. I have to. Uh, You're not that slim as well. Put in reverse. successful it was smelling of a lot of money stinking of pounds it's turning pounds <laughs> will this go down this question is that we shall find out yes it does agdi rose voice for the first time i think i have to get into a more suitable kind of clothes so i have got something Little different, which is in this big suitcase right over here. First of all, this is the same. This is the latest issue of the magazine, and this is also about Dubai. Since we are in Dubai, again, so that's a coincidence. We are going to take this suitcase by the way in the Rolls Royce. But I wanted to show you this. Oh, let's start with this. So ये कह रहे हैं यू आर रेयर आई मीन दे अंडरस्टैंड माई फिलोसफी दे नो आई एम रेयर सो आई वुड लाइक टू विद अटमोस्ट ह्यूमिलिटी इंक्लूड माई सेल्फ इन टू द रेयर कैटेगरी ऑफ पीपल दैट हैव फॉलो द पैशन और दे आर लक्की टू फॉलो द पैशन आई लाइक दिस लाइन आई लाइक दिस द वे दे पैकेज इट And on this the shirt that I'll be wearing, very nice velvet satin kind of a feel to it. And of course, this is the trouser. So I'm going to be dressed in a way that a gentleman is supposed to dress, or the owner of a Rolls Royce. But I'm I don't know. I cannot afford those kind of clothes. But this is the best I could do, and this is the belt. All right. So let me get dressed. I think you need to shut this down now. So I'm changed. I'm a changed man for the change of my vehicle. अब सबको तो पता ही है मैं कौन सी चलाने वाला हूँ. And I'm ready to go. Very excited. Landmark moment in my life. Never could have imagined that I would be doing this 15 years ago when I first made my first web page on my first motorcycle, 15 bhp, 180 cc. All I can say is thank you, God. Thank you, everyone. and i think time to go rose royce i think we have enough 
boot space to take whatever we want. It's not a motorcycle. So I let me show you around. This is our workstation. A lot of wires, of course, and especially I love this. Avengers End Game is going to release. So ye main yahan pe laya tha. And what about this? Am I looking good? Okay. Essential items. Number one, the laptop. New computing device acquired. Can't go anywhere without this. The new ThinkPad P1. It's supposed to be very, very fast and very light. Not that weight matters here because I'm in a Rolls Royce. And then we have chargers, action camera, and hard disks. And we also have this, just in case, you know, we want to confuse the real Dubai police. And I thought, this will take it. And we have this a whole set of cameras that we have. Not to forget, we have got the tripods here, here, and whole lot of stuff here. Different kind of mounts, uh, suction mount, and you know, got Godzilla pod, car adapter, stuff like that. So uh, we are almost ready. We have to do around, I think, 350 kilometers today. It's already almost one, and uh, let's do this. So here we go. My first um, entry into the real world with the first Rolls Royce that I'm going to drive, and uh, this is going to be a real world test of not the Rolls Royce, obviously, but for me, the car is on, although I don't feel like it's on, and um, I have to remember what to do because it gets. Takes a little bit of time to get into a car mode. All right, so here we go. Gears are engaged and uh, auto lock engaged, and the Cullinan is climbing up and into there. I don't know where it starts and ends, and it's so wide. It feels as if I'm floating. Even the G63 here actually looks small. Mm. So, being in the new Kalinan, how does it feel, Mr. Motographer? <laughs> Forget about the new Kalinan. This is my first Rolls Royce and uh, the first SUV for Rolls Royce. So, I'm in a Rolls Royce of Rolls Royces. So. You can see, like this is one of the most uh, powerful brands in the world. And when I see that RR, like if you're driving this, then it means that one, now you have a lot of money. Two, you have status. And three, you definitely have got a very good taste. Yes. <laughs> and to a lot of people, the uh, the way the Kalina looks is very. Uh, Old school. I mean, uh, they are divided. For but for me, I think this is what a Rolls Royce is supposed to look like. Especially the SUV. It has to be blocky. It has to be big, imposing. And um, there is a saying by Frank Sinatra. You know the the musician. He said that um, if you are someone, if you want to be someone, you buy a Ferrari. And if you are someone, you buy a Lamborghini. And uh, I guess he forgot about saying uh, about the Rolls Royce. Um, I don't know what, but I have. To, I will think. You know, I will extrapolate his 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 quote, his very famous quote that I have myself quoted a lot of times. So the Rolls Royce stand sits above uh, all of them, like it's on the top of the food chain. It exudes power. It exudes uh, respect. Probably responsibility for another hour, just for the sake of saying that. I'm totally cut off uh, from uh, you know the outside world because uh, you don't feel a thing. You don't feel the vibrations. You don't feel the heat, and of course, you don't feel how poor you are when you are behind a Rolls Royce wheel. <laughs> Soon, the sand uh, will be across the road, 
in a few places and that is what i'm waiting for right so you go here into my vehicle my kalanan and spirit of ecstasy which you can raise or lower as per your will so we are actually going to the ghost city or ghost town whatever we can call it it's in al madam so since we don't know the exact route gps so goes. we have got a gentleman who is helping us escorting us to the place so he is basically a camel farm owner so as you can see the road is pretty awesome here road. yeah <laughs> so it's a little different than the kind of image we have of This is so radical I can't tell you that <laughs> <laughs> Oh look at this look at what's going on here and look at the sand yeah drifting sand This is an amazing experience and I'll remember this for a very long time Look at this There are supposed to be jinns here uh once the sun sets that would be cool because uh, I don't know if you know that I have a wish of seeing an alien and a real ghost like something supernatural. So if you go inside this mosque you can see that there has been a lot of sand which has been collected here. But once upon a time around 30 to 50 years ago this was actually a place teeming with people if not teeming but there were people living here. But now it is as eerie as it can probably get and uh, this is actually the third ghost town or building i have been to the first one was in croatia when it was snowing when i was on the mv gusta the second one was in bosnia where there was this bombed shelter or a hotel and this is the third one in dubai well it's 60 kilometers from dubai and it takes some off roading to get here and this is so surreal you know i cannot tell you and there are around 10 to 15 buildings in this area which are covered with sand and sand is actually inside them so people used to worship here they used to offer namaz and today there is nothing but only me and the kalinan ha ah, is actually quite therapeutic quite a healing experience here for some reason and outside you can see the sun is going to set because the sand is changing the color and along with that the kalinan is actually taking the color of the sand even more you know isn't that beautiful and look all those houses empty no one amazing
Right, so it was a long uh, day today. Uh, I couldn't get the shots I wanted because we only slept for three hours. And but tomorrow is going to be an even longer day because we're going to start at around five, five thirty. We're going to go into the desert and then we have to go to the racetrack, Yas Marina, to drive three more Rolls Royces. Yes. And uh, this is the city of lights. A lot of tall buildings here. A different kind of a feel. With the spirit of ecstasy, also enjoying taking in the wind, breeze, and the light. This is a man made wonder. Dubai and of course Rolls Royce. So guys, that was my first experience with what could be the perhaps the most prestigious brand in the world, at least in the automotive industry. And I never dreamt that I would be driving a Rolls Royce in such an exotic place. And it was a it was a great experience, and uh, I you know never take anything for granted. And um, but I hope that this uh, is one of many and there is a different kind of feel when you are behind that um, steering wheel and it must be a different kind of feeling when you are actually sitting behind and there's a chauffeur. But that feeling, I don't know if I'll know that in this lifetime. But um, this is great for now and uh, second episode will come out soon and that will have me drive couple of Rolls Royces on the Yas Marina circuit and that was something so wait for it.